What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to go over some news stories you might have missed for February 21st, 2023. Let me know if you like this style better. I'm going to try to mix things up, see if anything kind of sticks. Let me know in the comments if you prefer just my face and the background or whatever. Let's get into the stories here, starting with the first one that I'm really interested in is Don't Nod having a RPG game. Now, I remember seeing this story that basically they, they got some investors. They, they got an influx of, I think, somewhere in the range of like 35 to 40 million. Um, and, and I was like, okay, cool. You know, there, there wasn't too much to read into it. Well, it turns out, because I didn't read it, because I didn't think it was too important, I kind of missed out on this, in which they announced, you know, as part of their lineup, big lineup, long lineup, is uh, they're making like a full-scale RPG. And so this article right here, according to the studio itself, a large-scale action RPG is also currently in development as Don't Nod looks to solidify its position within the genre. They mentioned that this title will represent a step up in terms of production value and that it's looking to create something richer in terms of game mechanics, allowing players to immerse themselves in even more engaging stories. And the code name is Project 12. So, hey, I I'm all for that. I think, you know, if they can do it, I think Don't Nod with the idea of an RPG makes a ton of sense considering their entire DNA is kind of built off of choice and consequence. The issue is I don't think they've, and because of limitations with the gaming industry in general, they've never been able to push it, I think, as far as maybe they themselves have wanted to. You look back to Life is Strange 1, which is one of my favorite games of all time, and to be flat honest, it 100% put Don't Not on the map. If they don't make Life is Strange 1, or even if they make something of the quality of 2, but they do that first, I don't think that puts them on the map as much as making Life is Strange does. But the ending of Life is Strange is one of the biggest perpetrators of that kind of thing where it's it's all these decisions throughout the entire game all going well all fine and then all of a sudden the end of the game comes and it's just one choice between two different things and that decides the entire end and people flipped out back in the day and I still think people hold kind of resentment towards it now uh, so you know they're not perfect but I do think the style, Tell Me Why, Twin Mirror, all these kind of games, uh, they do these kind of already. So the fact of doing a, a full-scale RPG, I'm all for that. Next up, this is pretty darn quick, but I want to talk about this Level 5 live stream, mainly because of this uh, DECA Police. Uh, now, this is a studio that, because of Nino Kuni, I, I really like. I know they actually do other stuff that's probably more popular, but for me, Nino Kuni was incredible, both the first and second game. So I kind of... Didn't really keep track of this studio. I knew they kind of went away in terms of like larger, you know, scale productions. But then this DECA police that I believe was just announced a few weeks ago at the uh, Nintendo Direct looks awesome and definitely looks like they're coming back, right? Now, we don't know a release date. I think we know like a window. And so for this, it's a developer showcase. And I guess another reason why this is somewhat of an important news story is it just continues to show that other studios or studios around the world do these things, right? These showcases where you kind of control your own destiny and you do your own thing. It's becoming increasingly popular. Even so, like level five isn't the biggest thing of all time, but even they're doing one, right? So that's just something to kind of throw in there. But you see, they'll be doing the digital showcase next month on March 9th, and one of the things we'll be getting an update on is Deca Police. They're promising RPG. Awesome. Give me a date. Let me play it. Uh, hopefully, if it captures anything that Nino Kuni did, I'm all in. Then we have a rumor for Trine 5. So basically, this is just a title rumor. Trine 5, a clockwork conspiracy, is reportedly the title for the next Trine game. Comes from a leaker that's definitely gaining steam. I saw a talk on Reddit, like if this person keeps getting stuff right or uh, you know just keeps nailing it as the year goes on, they may solidify themselves as like a, you know a Tom Henderson type of uh, of individual. And now finally, the last story is probably the biggest story if we're being honest with ourselves. Blumhouse is making a gaming division, and it does seem like publisher, right? It seems like they're going to be a publisher, and they're going to kind of auction off their IPs. They'll have studios make it for them. They will publish it. They'll kind of put it out there. I believe in this article it goes on to state that the, the budget is about four million dollars or less. They're not looking to like do these AAA games that are a hundred million plus dollars, right? They're looking for small things. Honestly, that's fine. I'm totally okay with that. You do have a lot of people talking about, well, this girl right here, right? Megan, like make a Megan game. 
Like, Halloween is tied to them, right? So, like, is this how you get a Halloween game? Now, again, for as, as much as people are excited, and, and I totally get that, and I think the potential is rather high, not even just for right now, but also for the future because the budget could go up, right? They have some successful ventures, and they increase the budget to 10, 15, 20 million. They keep making money. They can afford higher things, right? This could go well rather quickly. With that being said, these first couple things... You got to expect like lower and not not to say like, look, if you have a budget for $4 million, I I wouldn't say that immediately makes you like pure garbage, right? So I'm not trying to come across that way. But again, like if you're looking at these games that cost hundreds of millions of dollars to make, these are indie games. These are going to have to be, and this is always going to be, at least to me, this is always what's most interesting. You got to find the right people. I think there's so much talent out there, and I do think for $4 million, right, you put a small team together, you find a small team, 10 people, whatever, you let them craft their thing, three years later, you get a game. I think you can easily do that. Well, it's not easy, right, but you can do that, and that's probably what it will be. Because if you try to do it the other way, you try to lean maybe into more like live service. Like, do you make a, a Megan live service game, right? Because that's a, a money, you could just get money every day pouring in, but it could be absolute garbage, right? So you got to play it smart. You got to play it, okay, we have to find these teams that are talented, but it's going to take some time. And, you know, but we can afford it because they're not a lot of money. That's how this is going to have to be, at least at the start. So I mainly say that is you do have people suggesting, okay, Megan, okay, Halloween. Is Happy Death Day from them? I love Happy Death Day. So, I mean, anything you want to do, sure. But, you know, just kind of remembering that, okay, well, we all do want a Halloween game. We're getting Killer Clowns from Outer Space, Texas Chainsaw, right? So let's just use Halloween. We're getting all those games. But I assume they do have a a little bit higher of a budget. So a Halloween game, just like off the runway, are you going to get that for $4 or less? I I don't know. It it would have to be a very different kind of Halloween game, which may actually be the best kind. So just something to kind of keep in mind. Big story, but I don't, you know, I don't think it's going to be like absolutely incredible right away. This is going to take some time, but an interesting play. More, you know, more of these movie companies re- recognizing, honestly, oh, games make more money than we'll ever make. So, so maybe we should uh, get into that before it's too late. And honestly, I think that's kind of what this is. So let me know what you guys think about all these stories in the comments below. Make sure you guys are subscribed, bell icon turned on, and I hope to see you all on the next one.